Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The restoration of the divine kingship. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. Spiritual food. 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 to 17 Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby if so be ye have tasted if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of God and precious yea also as lively stones are built up as spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe, he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that should show forth the praises of him that had called you out of darkness into this into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, this abstain from, far, from fleshly lust, which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works which they shall behold glory god in the day of visitation submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the lord's sake whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well for so is the will of god that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness but as the servants of god honor all men Love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Quote, Brethren, what I expect from you henceforth is the understanding of where all of you are heading to. If you are not aware of your destination or where you are presently, you would be likened to a wanderer, a foolish person, or a rolling stone that gathers no mass. It is only when 
someone knows where he is going, that he becomes conscious of what he has to do at any given point, on, point in time. Evidently, none of you is aware of where you are and why the clarion call has been extended to you. Indeed, none of you are conscious of who he or she is. So, I now want to use this time to again unfold the reason for your call into this kingdom. I will use the spiritual food as already quoted above to affirm this fact. What makes up the central theme is in verse 17. It enjoins you to honor all men. Love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Examine the next reference text. First witness, Revelation chapter 21, verses 22 to 27. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day for there shall be no night there and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Brethren, have you understand? Have you understood from the text the meaning of verses 24 through to 26? In your case, have you brought your glory into it? Another question is, has the world responded to the clarion call? Read the next reference text. Second witness, Romans chapter 13, verses 1 to 7. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are obtained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist, shall receive to themselves damnation, for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same, for he is the minister of God unto thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, he must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For, for this cause, Pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers attending, con con attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. Third witness, Matthew chapter 24, verses 3 to 14. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, 
and of the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall they, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come fourth witness Matthew chapter 23 verses 8 to 12 but he, but be not ye called rabbi for one is your master even Christ and all ye are brethren and call no man your father upon the earth for one is your father which is in heaven neither be ye called masters for one is your master even Christ but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Fifth witness, Revelation chapter 12, verses 1 to 5. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed in, with the sun and the moon, under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them on to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Sixth witness, Luke chapter 1, verses 29 to 36. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou shalt be found. For thou hast found favor with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, Thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month 
with her, who was called barren. Seventh witness, Matthew chapter 16, verses 14 to 20. And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others say Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Thou, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whosoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charge ye his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Brethren, I do believe you have re-examined all the above reference texts. What is left now is for you to memorize and study them minutely, for they contain information of utmost importance. Re-examine another reference text. Eight witness John chapter 17 verses 1 to 5. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee, before the world was.